x and t where we know that b is greater than zero but b should not be equal to one so b exponent x should be equal to b exponent t if only if x is equal to t so what i mean by that is when an exponential equation has the same base on each side the exponent must be equal this also applies when the exponents are algebraic expressions so therefore we can solve many exponential equations by using the rules of exponent to rewrite each side as a power with the same base then we use the fact that exponential functions are one to one to set exponents equal to one another and solve for the unknown so let's consider this example so if you have this example three exponent of 4x minus 7 equal to 3 exponent 2x divided by 3. Now, to solve for x, we use the division property of exponent to rewrite the right side so that both sides have the common base of 3. Then we apply the one-to-one -one property of exponent by setting the exponent equal to 1 number and solving for x so let's do that so 3 exponent 4x minus 7 is equal to 3 exponent 2x divided by 3 okay so now let's rewrite 3 as 3 exponent 1 so when we do that we get 3 4x minus 7 should be equal to 3 exponent 2x divided by 3 exponent 1. Okay. Then when we are done with this, we use the division property of exponent. Okay. So now we'll be having 3 4x minus 7 should be equal to 3 exponent 2x okay yeah so now we have the same base okay so we will apply the one-to-one -one property of exponents so when we apply that we should get 4x minus 7 should be equal to 2x then minus 1 now we have this one supposed to come top here to be minus okay so we have minus one okay that's why we had this minus one there okay now when we go forward and we group like terms we'll be getting 4x minus 2x should be equal to minus one plus seven then we get 2x should be equal to plus six then we divide each side by 2 so 2 goes here and 2 go there then we have 2 cancel 2 to be 1 so we have x should be equal to 3 okay so for any algebraic expression which we take it as x and t and any positive real number which b is not supposed to be 1 b exponent x should be equal to b exponent t if and only x is equal to t okay now given an exponential equation with the form of b exponent x should be equal to b exponent t we use the one-to-one -one property to set the exponent equal equation okay or equal then we solve the resulting equation where x should be equal to t for the unknown okay now let's look at another example so let's solve 2 exponent x minus 1 which is equal to 2 
exponent 2x minus 4. Okay, so you can pause the video and try to do it on your own. So now let's do it. So since we have the same base, let's use the one-to-one -one property. Okay, so we have x minus 1 should be equal to 2x minus 4. Then we group like terms. So we have x minus 2x should be equal to minus 4 plus 1. Then we have minus x should be equal to minus 3. We divide each side by minus. Then we have x should be equal to 3. Very simple. Now you can try this on your own. So solve 5 exponent 2x minus 5 exponent 3x plus 2. Pause the video and try to do this on your own. Now, let's talk about rewriting equations to all powers to have the same base. Now, sometimes the common base for an exponential equation is not explicitly shown. So, in this case, we simply rewrite the terms in the equation as powers with a common base and solve using the one-to-one -one property. For example, if we should have 256 to be equal to 400 and to be equal to 4 exponent x minus 5 we can rewrite both sides of this equation as powers of 2 then apply the rules of exponent along with the one to one property then we solve for x so let's do that so 2 exponent what will give us 256 which is 8 so 2 exponent 8 will give us 256 then 2 exponent 2 will give us 4 so in that bracket we have x minus 5 okay so we have 2 exponent 8 should be equal to 2 and these two will multiply each of this. So we have 2x minus 10. Then we use the one to one. Let's apply the one to one. We have 8 should be equal to 2x minus 10. Okay, so 8 plus 10 should be equal to 2x. So we have 18 should be equal to 2x. Divide each side by 2. So we have 18 divided by 2 should be equal to 2x divided by 2. 2 cancel 2 and 2 will go, will go into 18 as 9. So we have x to be 9. Let's solve another example. So let's solve 18 exponent x plus 2 should be equal to 16 exponent x plus 1. So with this, let's try to have the same base. So let's use 2. 2 base, 2 exponent what will give you 8. That is 3. In bracket, x plus 2. And 2 exponent what will give you 16. That is 4. Then x plus 1. Then we multiply the 3. With the one outside the box so we have 2 3x plus 6 which is equal to 2 4x plus 4 then let's apply the one to one rule so we have 3x plus 6 should be equal to 4x plus 4 so 3x minus 4x should be equal to plus 4 minus 6 then we have negative x should be equal to negative 2 we cancel the negative in both side then we have x should be equal to 2 very simple now pause the video and try to do this on your own 5 exponent 2x equal to 25 
is putting 3x plus 2. Now let's solve another example here. 2 is putting 5x equal to root of 2. Okay. Now solving this, we have 2 We are going to have 2 exponent 5x equal to 2 exponent half. So we are writing the root of 2 as power of 2. That's what we did here that we got the 1 and half or 1 over 2 right there. So let's use the 1 to 1 property. Okay. So when we use the one to one property, we should get five x should be equal to half. Right. So when we do that, we should get five goes here times one over five go there. So we have x should be equal to one on ten. Okay. So Pause the video and try to do this on your own. Solve 5x should be equal to the root of 5. Now let's try to solve this one as well. If you have 3 exponent x plus 1, which is equal to negative 2, how do we solve this? Now this equation has no solution there is no real value of x that will make the equation a true statement because of any power of a positive number is positive okay so there's no solution now pause the video and try to solve this equation solve 2x equal to negative 100 Now, sometimes the terms of exponential equation cannot be rewritten with a common base. So, in these cases, we solve by taking the logarithm of each side. Now, we have to recall that the log of A is equal to the log of B. It's equivalent to A equal to B. So, we may apply logarithms with the same base on both sides of exponential equation okay so if you should have 5 exponent x plus 2 equal to 4x how do we solve this so with this we have 5 x plus 2 is equal to 4 x then we have the natural log of 5 x plus 2 which is equal to the natural log of 4 exponent x okay now when we do this this exponent of x plus 2 will come behind the natural log so we have x plus 2 natural log of 5 which is equal to x the same thing the exponent comes behind the natural log so we have x natural log of 4 okay now when we do it we should get into bracket x plus 2 the natural log of 5 should be equal to x natural log of 4 then let's expand it so we have x natural log of 5 plus 2 natural log of 5 which is equal to x natural log of 4 so let's try to group like things so we have x natural log of 5 minus x natural log of 4 is equal to negative 2 natural log of 5 right so let's expand it so when we factorize bringing x out so we have x into bracket natural log of 5 minus natural log of 4 which is equal to negative 2 natural log of 5 right 
now when we do this let's apply the rules so we have negative in there okay so we have x natural log into bracket 5 on 4 because of the negative sign right there okay then we will get natural log of 1 on 25 okay because we will bring this negative back here to get that now because of we brought the negative 2 we get 1 on 5 on 2 that's why we had natural log 1 on 25 okay so basically when we do it we should get x equal to natural log of 1 on 25 divided by natural log of 5 on 4 which is very simple okay now try this on your own follow what i did and try this on your own solve 2x equal to 3 exponent x plus 1 